Hello, my name is Dwayne Blatt, and welcome to the NSDA. Today we're gonna to take a look at quick release shooting. I know there's a lot of videos out there on quick release shooting, but today I wanna to touch on just how to address the puck properly in order to get that shot off quickly and effectively. So I've got a passer today. This could be a coach, it could be a player, it could be anybody. It could be a wall if you're shooting with a tennis ball. I'm gonna use this passer in order to receive my passes, but if I'm a, coming in for a shot right here, it's really, really important on where players hold their stick. Oftentimes we'll see, especially young players, hold their stick away from the pass. So if my passer, my player, my teammate is the passer, if my stick is out here, when I catch that puck, now I'm way outside my shooting box. And remember, our shooting box is right inside here. So anywhere in this gray area beside my body is where I want to release that puck from. So on my forehand side, I'd rather have my stick addressing the puck over here. So if that pass is coming there, my stick is here so I can cradle and then let that puck go. So if I get my pass from my passer, my hands are out here, I catch it, and then right away I'm ready to step into that shot and my puck's in a good spot. If you're practicing this at home and you have a passer or you're using a wall or anything that you're using in order to get that puck back, maybe your little sister, your dad, doesn't matter who it is, but when you get that puck, make sure that your hands are addressing it, cradle, and then right away shot. So we'll show a couple here live, but as I get it here, I'm gonna catch quick and then right away shot. So again, when I get that puck, my hands are set. I'm not sliding my hands up and down my stick. My hands are set in a good spot. If I give a pass, now I'm ready to catch it back. So when that puck comes, I catch quick and then right away release that puck. Same thing on our backhand, right? So if I'm getting the puck on our backhand, our goal here is to get that puck back to our forehand to shoot. Maybe we're gonna keep it on our backhand depending on where we are. But if I'm gonna catch the puck on my backhand now, now I want my stick away from the puck. If I cradle my puck here, that's fine. Maybe my shot is here on the net, but if I can smack it back to my forehand, now I'm in a strong position to make, get a shot off, maybe make a pass or make a move as I come through. So if I get my puck on my backhand, my hands are away from my puck, I smack, and then now my puck's back in that shooting box and I can release the puck. Very important that our hands are in a good spot. And if you can see my blade here, we want that blade to be cupped. If my blade's open and that puck hits my blade as an, it's open, that puck's gonna end up hopping or going over top of my blade. So I wanna keep that blade cupped. So I'm gonna roll my wrist up, keep my blade cupped, smack back on the puck, and now I get my stick in a good spot, my blade's in a good spot, and I can release that puck. So a couple live here coming in. I'm gonna smack it, get it set quick, and then shot. So again, I smack back on that puck, smack, set, and then shot. One thing that's tricky with the backhand because of our curve is we have to be sensitive to how we're hitting that puck. So when we smack back on that puck, we have to smack back on the angle the puck comes from. So if the angle's lateral like this, so across my body, I'm gonna smack back laterally. If I'm coming in front of the puck, the, I'm in front of the puck, the puck's coming up like this, now I wanna smack back on that angle in order to get the puck back to that shooting area. If I'm behind the puck, now I wanna smack up against the puck as I skate into it and then take that shot. Using the backhand of our blade is a skill that we need to work on, but it's something that we need to get reps. The more we get reps, the better it's gonna become. So again, a couple more live. As that puck comes across, smack, set, and then right away shot. So again, one more here, smack it, catch, step, and then right away shot. As far as your feet and your lower body, we wanna teach players to shoot off their left foot, right foot, whether they're a lefty or righty. So if they catch it off their backhand here and step on their Inside foot, no problem. If they get it on their backhand and rotate and use those legs, push off their back foot, the front foot, that's fine as well. And the last one I want to address is getting pucks that are going from low to high or that we're square to. So if I'm coming to the net right now and I get a pass from the corner or out of here and now I'm addressing the puck in this area right here. So again, hands out front so I can catch and then right away we can release that puck. If I'm ready for a one-timer on an angle here, I can still have my hands in a good spot so I can catch release or we can one-time that puck. But again, we're talking about quick catch release. So here, when that puck comes out towards me, my hands are out front. Now I can cradle, load, and then let that puck go. So same thing applies, hands are in a good spot. My hands are out front of my feet. So now when I catch it, I'm right in that shooting box area and then we can let that puck go. So a couple here coming in, hands are out front and catch and then right away shot. So same thing here, hands out front, I catch, and then right away shot. And really important for players 
And I just did it there on that last one, but when a player catches that puck, not to get it and drop our hands. Now we're taking away that leverage of our stick. We want to keep that hand up as much as we can. It may drop a little bit, but we want to keep that hand up as much as we can so we can push on that bottom hand. So if you're looking from the side, I'm here. I keep my top hand up, and now I can push on that shaft in order to let that puck go. So again, puck comes up, hands are out here, I catch, and then right away shot as we're coming through. Being able to release the puck quickly is a huge asset for any shooter. Whether it's a defenseman on the blue line or a forward inside the top of the circles, being able to release that puck quick is so effective. One of the areas that's neglected, I think, by coaches and parents and players is how they address the puck before it gets to them. Oftentimes, young players are surprised when they catch the pass or they're not ready for that puck. The more we can prepare these players to be ready and in a good shooting position with their hands addressing the puck, the more opportunity they're going to have to convert good shots. So again, as a parent or a coach, make sure that we're telling our players to address that puck if they're on their forehand side. If they're trying to catch off their backhand, their sticks away and then smacking back. And everything's going to come back to trying to get that puck into our shooting area. If we're on the ice with our players, we want to try to get that puck back into this shooting area right here. And that shooting area can be on the side of our body here or in front of our body here. So if I catch a puck here, I want it in tight here so I can shoot that puck. But anything around our body and same thing on our backhand. So our backhand side will be over here and then right in that shooting box area on, on that side. The more we can help players get pucks in, the, in those areas around their body and those shooting areas around their body, the more effective the shot gonna be and hopefully that'll convert into more goals.